So usually I'm sitting in my office when we do these videos. So I figured I'd go out in the shop. You're looking at an ATV, not the truck, because the truck is still on the trailer. Since we did so well, we didn't even unload it yet. We're taking a break for a couple weeks before we unload it and get into it. But we did very well. We won Baja Nevada 2022. So if you want to hear about the whole race and that, continue watching. McKenna from our team took awesome video of us on the podium and speaking about the race and that. And then you'll get a section with me and Gary just going step by step how the race went. If you're into desert racing, you're going to want to watch it. If you're not, I'll just tell you there's no exciting videos or fun stuff like we usually put this, this time. It's just us talking. Sorry, guys. But there's somebody I always forget to thank. And usually when we cross the podium, I'm trying to think of all the sponsors and all the people that went out of their way to help us. And I always forget one of the most important people, the guy that sits to my right. That's Christian Moody, my co-driver. He's an awesome guy. He's an awesome co-driver. Me and him definitely don't agree on everything, and we definitely get into it now and then, but he's one of my best friends and great guy to go eat tacos in Baja with and hang out with and race with and everything. And, you know, he'll get out of the truck in 108-degree weather and change a tire with, without even uh, no sweat. You know, he's a tough guy. He's a real good guy, so I wanted to really thank him for all the times I forget to say his name and I'm all hyped up on the podium. So Christian is a great guy. McKenna with the video. She did an awesome job taking video at this race. So, and then everybody else, you know, uh, especially Kirk, the new guy that's been helping us out. Kirk did all sorts of things, you know, and we try to help him out with things and, the, you know, flights and that. He goes, oh, no, I got it, I got it. What a good guy, you know, good guy to the community, good guy to desert racing. So with that, let's go into the video. So we got Wild Power Sports 6013 here out in the desert we're about to do some testing kirk that's been helping us a lot is going to come out with me and then uh, christian over there is going to jump in my co-driver we're going to do a little test the rear lights are so bright we pulled the breaker out because kirk can you push the breaker on the rear lights in right there below the radio check it out yeah so pretty awesome nice and cool let the heat of the day go by and now we're going to go test it out we'll see how she runs here at Baja Nevada 2022 6013 trophy light looking awesome ready to go Gary Hull starting the race expert at the start does an awesome job myself John is getting in at pit five I believe and it starts right up that way I think we're about to move and we're about to do it so guys crew has had a long day we are still running it's us and uh was it 60 69 us and him it's really down to that because everybody else broke or is way back lost transmissions look at this pit uh there's barely anybody here so many people broke but we're, we're gonna finish this so one last swap me and christian get back in the truck over here take it home so We'll see what we can do. Let's hope the rear end holds together. Trophy light to make it across the track. How was it? It was great. It was awesome. I can't believe we're the first one after what happened to us earlier. We had an, we were out of the truck in pit five, putting an axle in. Everybody just, I figured there was no way, but when I got in after that, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna catch up, make up some time. So I drove this thing harder than I ever have. Carry Hall here, he did half the race a little more. Awesome job. He made up some time. Then we got in at the end and they said, the rear end is going out. They said, take it easy. Just finish. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna win or we're gonna crash. And they're like, you better not do that. And then I got in the truck, I looked at him, I'm like, yeah. We're <laughs> so, sending it. We're sending it. So we did, we did, and it worked out. First one I ever won. The first race in this truck I won, I've probably done seven or eight now. So. That is awesome. Other than that rear dip, what any other problems? Going through the dark no. and the dust. There's no, some the, strange noises. The, uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the weird noises. The Yokohama tires, unbelievable. Not one flat. Uh, you got to thank Steel at Coatings. They're the main sponsor of the truck. They they make a great product. We all know what it is. We love them. Um, KC lights, zero zero problems with them. You um, see all the way through. I could all see night. through. I, you know, I almost didn't even need the light bar. The front lights were fine. But uh, the tires were the big thing. I think the Yokohama tires. They they just. And it, I mean, 600 and something miles through rocks, 
we weren't letting off either. I mean, we were hitting things hard. Zero flats. That's crazy, you know? No flats at all? No day? flats the entire day. Yokohama wow. makes happy co-drivers. Yeah, yeah. You <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. I guess that's it. I mean, everybody, everybody, the whole team, it, you know, the driver is about that much of it. The team is that much. So, Bill and James and uh, Corbin and uh, Stillen and Hunter and everybody, just the whole, giving, giving us ice all day, giving us water is just made it happen. Did your co-driver... Did you sit over there all day, or did you swap out? No, I. We uh, we ran 108 miles, and then we ran the last 120. Um, me and this guy all day together. Um, we run together. Yeah, yeah. So, you good. how many miles did you guys end up running then? We did about what 240, 240, 240 yeah, and then the rest. These, and then these guys did the rest. We call him Get It There Gary because he always gets the truck. <laughs> he does. He does. He's amazing. He's amazing. Gary, do you want to talk about the first half of the race at all, or how was it? I know you left early this, well, not way early this morning, but how was the beginning of the race? It was good, you know, Thanks. we uh, set a hard pace and passed a few people and uh, running some dust with the other trophy lights, and they, unfortunately, they had some problems, and then um, we just kept with it until our axle went out, and then and we were behind everybody, and just they consistent, got through it. Can't believe we did this after we were there on the ground fixing an axle. Yeah. So. Was there, uh, for the first half of that race, or the quarter, however much you want to call it, um, how were your guys' pit crew? Is it in and out and done, or yeah, pretty quick? Fast. Yeah. yeah, we uh, only pitted once at three, and then at five, that's when the axle went out. And then we uh, pushed the limits on how far we could go on fuel, and it worked out for us. That's cool. Um, who would you guys like to thank? Uh, there's a lot of names on the side of this truck. Uh, a lot of things that make this thing go. Uh, what do you got going on? I'm going to forget every name there, but every one of those names. Because they make the trophy lights happen. You know? Uh, I, like I said, Steel Coatings is a big one. Um, you know, uh, Wild Power Sports, it's my company. Um, you know, me and, me and James there. And uh, that the, the people back home that do all the work for us when we're not there, that makes a big difference to us. And uh, you know, with the price of fuel, I told everybody, I said, we have to win. And they said, why? I said, because we won't have the money to get back home. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's awesome. Let's get your guys' crew up here. You guys did a lot of the driving, but they did a lot of the hard work. So let's get you guys up here, take some pictures. and Gary started, Gary started in the truck off the start. I got in later. So why don't you talk about how it went? And yeah, we Everything was going good. We took off the start line and took off one minute intervals there. And, uh, you know, we were reeling in the guy that started in front of us and got by him rather quickly. Um, made her through pit one and on to towards pit two. And then we were catching some dust of uh, Schmeiser and uh, with Bragg driving and right before pit two. And then followed him to pit three. I mean, it was good course. I mean, some of the course we've run before, some of it was new. And um, we're right on his tail at pit three. We gassed up and uh, we got out in front of him at that point where our crew did a great job getting us in and out. And we started heading on some wide open road. And uh, the rig was running just a little on the warm side and so we backed off a little and thought well here's his chance he's going to come up and catch us and we never seen anything in the dust went around pit four and and around about 10 miles to go before pit five and uh, the <laughs> rear end was making a noise and um so we what kind of spoke, a noise yeah what, what kind of noise the bad kind yeah it wasn't <laughs> sounding real good we were hoping we made it so we backed off a little bit, and then uh, one UTV went by us um, right before the cutoff. Um, we hit the cutoff, and we were on the radio to the pits and told them we had something going wrong yeah, with I, the rear end. I, I was sitting there when that call came. I was still I was waiting at the pit because that's where I get in. Is pit yeah. five. So we lit, limped on to pit five and whipped in there, and um, you know, um, yeah, that's the rear you... end was hot. You could probably hot. tell the story. Yeah, well, um, I wasn't the one that opened it, but I was running all over helping you out of the truck run. 
And I see whoever, Corbin, whoever opened up the cap in the rear and they opened the cap and smoke came out. It's, it's not a good thing. So uh, I guess they determined there was no fluid in it. So they tried to add fluid and it flowed out. I guess we lost a seal on the axle. So it let all the fluid out. Now, it was in bad shape because it was running for at least 10 miles, right? With no fluid. Um, hard. Right. But maybe even before that, because it probably stayed lubricated a little bit until it really. So we got the axle swapped out. I had a little trouble getting the race out, but uh, the guys did great getting the axle. I jumped out because it was kind of really tricky to get the minutes race out. from stop 30, to go. 32 minutes. And the race, I think, was hey, half. Yeah. yeah, 32 minutes. But um, so after we did that, oh, and I, I got a little surprise for everybody. You know, when we left, the rear end was still making noise. Even with oil in it, it was – it was in bad shape. We, I just said, let's fill, put the axle and fill it. We'll see how far we get. I, we weren't sure if it was going to last, but um, when we left that pit, bad things happened. And I just went out there just to drain some of the oil out of the dip, just to see what was in it. And we're not going to get most of it, but this is just what came out of the oil. And there, <laughs> there's some, some big chunks. Um, I have a feeling big chunks. Uh, that's, I can tell that's a piece of the, the gear right there but uh once right. you get the cover off it's going to be bad so we we need a whole new rear end but uh yeah i jumped in it after that so i left pit five and i don't know gary where we have three guys ahead of us at that point it was maybe three of them three or four four probably four yeah four guys ahead of us so you know i knew we had to make up some time so we drove it hard we drove it hard and guys broke different guys broke things and 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 you know, we were trying to make up as much time as we can. And I drove from five to was eight. eight, 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 from five to eight. And then Gary got back in. Um, Gary then went, uh, you, you thought you were going from pit eight to pit 11, 11, but instead no, that didn't happen. Right. Because I called you, I called everybody in the radio and said, yeah. So I, I, I ten pit ten and fourteen are the same, so I actually just pulled into ten, you know, because I was with the chase crew, and I said, uh, me and Christian, my co-driver, are just going to go to ten, which is also pit fourteen, and go to sleep, because I wanted to be. I had a feeling people were going to get worn out throughout the day, and some guys were saying we're going to drive the whole thing ourselves. We're we're going to do one swap. We we planned three driver swaps, you know. So I'm like. Depending on what happens, and I know Gary's fast, so he's going to catch up to those guys. Me and Christian are totally rested. And we get in for the last 150. We can really rip. So so right. you took off from there. What happened at, What happened during yeah. that? That was a day-to-night section. Yeah, it was, um, you know, from pit eight. Then we wound around and up through the trees. And um, very few UTVs that we've seen broke down. Maybe two uh, got through there. Um, actually when we went through pit 10, um, you know, we were still getting a drink of water. It was still kind of warm out. Um, sun was still up. We swung on up there towards Hawthorne and then the sun was in, in behind the clouds, in behind the mountains, which was nice. But then there was those bright areas you were driving with one hand up in the sun and looking and, low. And you and- know, and we do <laughs> Vegas Sereno. You know my pain now because that's usually the section I have to drive through. Right. So, so. And so, um, I mean, we do have a little, um, you know, our cool shirts, you know, I don't know. Uh, we we use those. Um, so I was using it a little bit. It was still warm going into the evening. Even when we made Hawthorne and we didn't hear on the radio your guys' chatter about you not being there. Um, and so it kind of took us by surprise. I mean, it was just at dusk when we got there. We put light bar on top, which um, we probably maybe not needed, but it is nice to have a little bit of extra lights. Yeah. We left Hawthorne and obviously turned away from the sun and went on to the back side and over towards Gabs and um, way out in the distance. You know, I think uh, when we left pit 11, uh, we heard that the first place guy was uh, 20 minutes in front of us. He and was so, flying. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Flying. Well, that one gentleman oh. broke down. Woodruff broke down. Woodruff. Right before yeah, that was Woodruff. And we, we didn't mention him. He the whole day he started out front. He had no dust and he just did the same thing we would have done. He went as fast as he could to 
stay out of the dust, which is great, but yep. he broke down, unfortunately. Yep, he broke right before Hawthorne. And uh, so we come up there, and as we were coming down the hill at Gabs, I could see out there about five miles, there was one light. And I'm like, oh, man, I wonder if that's that trophy light. And it was pretty wide open area up to that point. And so we come through Gabs, which was fun. I mean, I'm glad they had it open speed limit, except for the pits there at Gabs. And then after Gabs, it um, got pretty technical. I yeah. mean, even though it was dark and um, we were reeling in that light in front of us. Um, we were <laughs> catching were. Um, in, a, in a hurry. You that know, was and, Jeff. That was Jeff ahead of you. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And so by the time we got to pit 14, we were, what, 30 seconds back behind him. So, so yeah, so I'm watching you guys come in because I'm sitting at 14. We're, we're, Christian and I are about to get in the truck. And I'm watching you come in and I see one truck's lights come out. And then I see you. And uh, we have all the KC lights on the bumper, the new KC lights. They're unbelievable. But uh, I see Gary come and I'm like, I couldn't tell which truck was first because you guys were – it's like a twisty thing you go through before you come into the pit. But it turns out Jeff was in front. He comes in and you come in while he's still in the pit. And then he leaves as we're getting in the truck. So he takes off. I don't know. He had, you caught up a lot. I mean, he was only probably two minutes ahead of us or so. And, you know, before we're getting in there, everybody at the pit while we're waiting for you is like, take it easy. When you guys get in the truck, Gary says it's really bad. It's making a lot of noise that rear end. Don't, don't break it. Just, Second place is fine. And I'm just like, no, no, we're going to, we're going to catch him. And they're like, no, don't do it, you guys. And then everybody's talking to Christian, telling him, don't just keep him calm. Tell him to slow down. And he's like, yeah, finally, we're like, just, okay, yeah, we'll take it easy. So then we get in the truck. And of course, you know, I look at Christian, I'm like, let's go catch the guy. So <laughs> we take off out of there and, uh, and we're, we're cranking. It's, I mean, we're rested. We, we had, uh, we didn't even need the cool shirts at that point because it was cool out. And and we're just we're just flying. Everything just felt right, except for the noise in the rear end. The truck was perfect. You know, the suspension adjustments we made, perfect. And we, you know, it was like one of those, one of those parts in a race where you're not tired, you the temperature's right, you feel good, it's handling perfect, everything's just right. You know, and uh, and we were we were we were flying, you know. We caught up to him and we caught up to him twice. First time. He hit some dust and and I wasn't going to do it. It was there was telephone poles involved and I was not going to risk anything there. So I, I took it easy. It backed off a little bit, but then we we got closer to him the second time. Hit the siren, hit the pass button. He's great. He pulled right out of the way. He, he knew we were faster. He didn't no problem. Great sportsmanship. So we got by him and then uh, I said, okay, well you know on corrected time we're ahead, but in corrected time we're not. We have to be a minute ahead of him. So Christian and I just started ripping. And like I said, everything was right. The terrain kept the course legacy laid out was awesome. I mean, was I, great. I hate to put anything down. Vegas Serena was fun, but I liked it a lot better because it, it never kept you in something too long. You were in some rough stuff. Then it was a dirt, fast dirt road. You're in some rocky hills. Then you go to a straightaway, you know, and it just, and, and then some silt and then it's, it's smooth. So we kept changing terrain. So we just, we were in the groove. I don't know. Nothing could have been more perfect. And we just kept cranking and we were, yeah, we were going really, really fast. Probably the fastest I've ever driven the truck, you know, <laughs> at a consistent rate through the carrying speed and everything. And it, I kept looking in my mirror, seeing this, this light, I peeked to my left and I see like, like a, like an off-road light. And I thought that was Jeff. And I'm like, it's probably only a, a, a mile or two back. I'm like a mile back, maybe, maybe less. I'm like, we got to get ahead of him. We got to stay ahead or else we're going to finish. He's going to come in right behind us. And that's not going to be a minute. And we're going to wind up in second. So I just kept going as hard as we can. I mean, we didn't have any close calls except right at the end, maybe like <laughs> a quarter mile before the end, we almost drove into like a pond looking thing. I don't know what it was, but um, we, we get to the end and, uh, and uh, uh, what's his, uh, I'm losing Gary here. Oh, I'm still here. He's still here. Um, they come up in there. They're like, Oh, you know what? How'd you, how Donald comes up, you know, and he goes, Oh, how was it? And I don't even answer his question. I was like, how close is he? Where is he? Where's the guy? Is he, he's behind us. Where, where is he? He's like, what were you talking? I'm like the guy, the other trophy light. He's, he's, how close is he? That's that's, I guess Christian said, that's all I was doing. I was like, is he, is he close? He's right behind us. And Donald goes, the next guy is seven miles behind you. I'm like, we put seven miles on him in the last like 
80 miles of the course. Yep. Holy yep. crap. <laughs> but uh, I don't know what that light was I was seeing, but yeah, we won. So uh, it's, it's, it's cool to win this one. It's a big, it's a big deal. Right. Yeah. I, I think of all the racing I've ever done with ATVs, the truck, everything, I think, I mean, finishing the Baja 1000 is a cool, really cool thing on, on the ATV. I've done that twice, but we, you know, winning this, that's, that's a big deal. So, uh, yeah. you know, and, and Gary, I mean, I looked at the times, Gary made up, Gary made up a lot of time right before I got in there on that guy. If he didn't, we would have never caught him, you know, but uh, the team, everybody, everybody helped out. I mean, I think everybody was on point all day. Yep. You didn't even have to tell anybody what to do. They just kind of knew. Yeah, they did a great job in the pits. Their whole whole crew yeah. had his cat fueled. You know, um, we were we were good. We were good. Legacy they, laid. Oh, uh, legacy laid out. I no complaints. Contingency, everything. Registration was five minutes. You know, yeah. good organization. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of the the KC the new KC lights in the bumper? We put the flex I, here four four of them on the yeah. bumper. Oh man, they lit the track up good. They uh, really did, you know. And um, I mean, we went out and tested with them, or you did, and had them adjusted just right, you know, so you could see in the corners. I mean, at first we we're thinking, you know, four wasn't enough, and um, but I think it, you could run with four pretty easily. We could run know? without the light bar, right? Honestly, the, but, the 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 light bar is also KC, but older lights. Um, you know, the light bar. I almost ran without it. I told you I was going to run without it. I was so impressed. These flex zero fours. I mean, unbelievable, but it's a good thing. I put the light bar on. We put it on because we hit some silt and it splashed up. And I mean, there is no light that can stop that from happening. And it coated the lights and the lights up top did not have that problem because they were up so hot. So uh, for a while we had the light bar off, but we flipped it on when that happened. But uh, very impressed by those the KC, the KC yeah. looks here for most definitely. Two, we got, yeah. we just got two spots and two floods on a bumper. Same ones you can buy and put on your Jeep or whatever. They're just uh, it's amazing how far LEDs have come. It's you know HIDs. It's just not the thing anymore. You can you can run LEDs. Yep. So. Yep. So um, yeah, the Yokohama tires. We uh, not a flat one. The whole race. That's I mean, crazy. Yeah, <laughs> and our you know our. Front tires were um, yeah. a couple of races old, so um, still. Sorry, my dog is whining, wondering. All the time. <laughs> yeah, the the front tires. What are they like? Three races old. We ran them at King of the Hammers. Same front tires. Through, yep. They got, I mean, two thousand miles on them at least now, probably more. Well, and, yeah. I mean, I think we ran them last year. You know, <laughs> biggest three, you know, um, King of the Hammers, and then this one. So. And they're still, uh, and, and honestly, I don't see why we should change them. I'd probably run them again. <laughs> I mean, the, the rears, you know, we put, a, you know, we spin them a lot. So just because they're not yeah. leaking, we want to replace them. Just, you know, we, we're constantly, we do things that you, you know, you normally don't do in rocks and you're four wheel. We're just wide open through rocks, spinning tires yeah. and that. But uh, they work great in a silt. We didn't get stuck once. Um, I mean, honestly, since we've had the tires, we've, we've never got the truck stuck. They've never been stuck. Yeah. I mean, it can still happen, but it hasn't, um, you know, and I, I just think this one, everything just came together. Finally, we've been close yep. before. And, uh, the one year we were real close. It was my fault because I got sick. Uh, <laughs> I'm taking care of that. It just don't happen to me anymore, but, uh, I got sick. We had, we had first the Vegas arena. We would have been, we were in the end, but I got sick, but that, you know, steel of coatings, of course, helping us out. Excellent excellent sponsor their product is excellent we all know what it is it's stainless steel pigmented coating you know uh abrasion resistant rust resistant it's uh it's great stuff we run in the trophy light we use it on our trailers we use it on everything it's, looks still looks sharp after beating through all those rocks i mean it's very good what what the truck we painted it what five four years ago five we haven't re recoded it it's the same coating you know it's yeah. steel coatings it's just uh there's a reason why all the every, just about every race truck you see, I'll have it on there. It's amazing stuff, you know. So uh, and then uh, Adam, Colorado signs and wraps. Man, the graphics on the truck. <laughs> I I I can. I, I've had people say that it was the best looking truck at the entire race, including all of the classes. And I, 
I, it looks sharp. It Very looks sharp. really sharp. And once we fix this video up and put it up on YouTube, I'll flash in some pictures of the race and, and I'll have a picture of the truck right here. So yeah, it looked, the truck looks really good at Colorado signs and wraps. They, they do, they do, they're, they're not your normal uh, uh, shop that does wraps and vinyl. They do big stuff. Like they do trains, they do semis. They do a lot of, a lot of commercial vehicles like vans and all that are big RVs for companies. They just, they do big stuff and all their stuff is like, even this, I told him, I said, dude, this is our race truck. You don't have to do it perfect. It's going to get destroyed in the desert. He's like, oh, no, no, no. So don't, don't spend too much time. Everything's like perfect. You know, we broke it. We hit the door on something, ripped the chunk off the right door. But <laughs> we'll cut it and make it look like it should be there or something. <laughs> but um, the, yeah. the rear lights, uh, those are the rear lights. I actually, uh, I, I am the designer of those rear lights uh, for Wild Power Sports Denari, the, the Denari Pierce XL lights. We put, eight of them on the rear of the truck so <laughs> what did you what do you think well yeah i mean they definitely lit it up i mean you could definitely tell our truck um you know um <laughs> they're too they glow, much <laughs> yeah well, i mean they shine back into the cab just a little bit too they you do. Know? They so do. which is okay um i mean we you know they're yeah. working yeah yeah most definitely yeah i mean uh, well, you know, people always said they wanted the brightest lights. I mean, we make the Pierce the smaller one, and it's incredibly bright in a lot of UTV guys, but uh, that's the brightest one made, the small one. But until we made the bigger one, which is so insanely bright, I, I actually don't recommend it a lot of times. But when we're racing, you know, we've gotten hit in the back before, and I don't want to get hit. So I want the brightest thing. So that's why we put them up there. And I think that's uh, – you definitely see the truck coming from – miles yep. you can see it miles out when it's when it's taken off you know yep. so uh those work good too and uh you know all the guys if we start saying names we're probably going to forget somebody but you had kc co-drive with you and james yep and bill came with you to do the chase and chase, bill chase one yeah yeah bill does chase one like nobody else very calmly collected and correct <laughs> Every time Bill does, I was, I was thinking, that's why I was telling you, see if you could have him here because he, uh, Bill does so much every race and, uh, you he's know, out. Bill, golfing. What is he? Hey, yep. <laughs> What's he busy? Yeah, he's golfing. Oh, he's playing golf. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So. But, uh, yeah, Bill, Bill does a lot for us. I want to make sure he knows we appreciate it. You know, uh, Bill does a lot and, uh, still in, you know, from Grand Junction, he brought his buddy Hunter still in health this Vegas arena last year and still in, Knew what he was doing already. Did great. Hunter gave him a couple jobs, man, especially that ice in the cooler. And he just did it. Like everybody just did their thing. He did it really good. And it might not seem important to put ice in a cooler on the truck, but that's for the cool shirts. If that's not filled or he doesn't latch the top or something, like we, we're in the heat, you know? Yeah, and uh, that, that was a big thing. He did a good job. Um, everybody else, McKenna with the photos, you know? Kurt. Don't forget McKenna, Kurt. 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 Kirk did a good job. Kirk's new. He just started helping us this year. He's here in Colorado. Um, and Kirk's done a lot. I mean, man, he's come down and done tires. And and every time we try to do something for him, he's like, no, it's okay. You don't have to, you know, it's like, best guy ever, you know, Kirk, Kirk did a really good job. And uh, Corbin. Yep. Corbin's always he there in the middle it. of nowhere to yeah. save the day. Yeah. Yep. I, when I came for fuel, I was at 15. Yes. On my last run, I think pit 15. And we're coming through. I didn't even know there was a pit there. Like we saw a slow down you know, speed limit sign. I'm slowing down. All it is is dust. I can't see anything. And out of the dust, I see a guy going like this. And he's the <laughs> only one in the pit. Corbin. And then uh, uh, Krista, she helped, you know, she's in the fire extinguisher. And he gassed us up and got us out of there quick. So Corbin, Corbin always pulls off what can't be pulled off like that. So that's really cool. Um, who else? Did we forget anybody? Um, we always do, and then we everybody gets mad at us. <laughs> Not that I can think of. I think we got every. I think we got everybody. But uh, yeah, everybody helped out. It was great. But uh, first place, I think the next race we'll do maybe, maybe this best in the desert race in September. That's what I'm hearing from Trophy Light is the next one. Um, if not, it's going to be King of the Hammers. Before that, yeah. the truck needs. I don't know about twelve thousand dollars. <laughs> so a whole bunch of an entire new rear end. We're gonna do an entire new rear end and a whole bunch of stuff, new seats, 
Uh, obviously, the body we're not changing. It looks awesome. But yeah, I guess that's it. that's about it. We had a we had a good time out there. Though. Great time. Yeah. So I guess we'll uh, stop this, and you guys just let us know what you're thinking.